Hey guys, what is up? My name is Ashley Nicole and I am an indie author with four published books out into the world and the fifth one coming next month. <laughs> I'm so excited. So in today's vlog, I'm just going to give you updates on where I am with my Camp Nano goal uh, as well as um, a brief life update. And I am going to um, go through my weekly planning. So I will show you what that looks like. This is mostly for my social media content because as some of you know, I am trying to be more present on social medias, um, more consistent. So without further ado, let's dive into all the goodness. So in my last vlog, I think I said that I was going to have a video out on Saturday. Today's Sunday. Um, happy Easter to those who celebrate in the United States. Um, but I didn't get the video out yesterday because I was the biggest procrastinator. <laughs> I did not get anything done that was on my list to do. Um, I did go for a run and then I fell down a spiral because I started working on the goodies that are going to come with signed copies of Double Toil and Trouble. I started working on some of those goodies and I spiraled for several hours and then it was late it was like I don't know it was like eight o'clock I say late but it, it was past the time when I would be working and it was eight o'clock and I'm like you know what I'm going to seal the deal of this non-productive day and play some zombies so I started playing State of Decay 2 which is my go-to and then I get trapped in a loop and never want to leave but I've still made some progress on my Camp Nano goals. If anybody follows me on social media, um, I usually share this as my Instagram story, which then goes over into my Facebook story. So if you follow me on either, you may have seen this. Um, but what I've been doing is coloring in a square each time I finish a page of edits. So... Like I said um, in my last vlog, I didn't get my edits back exactly on April 1st. I got them on, I believe, April 4th. Or I started on April 4th. I'm not sure which. Um, maybe it was April 3rd. Anyway. So, on April 4th, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 pages edited. On the 5th, I got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 pages edited. The 6th, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pages edited. And the seventh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pages edited. So that's a grand total of 27. 27 pages done. So I have not reached my first milestone yet, but I'm going to, in another, I would have to get 13 pages done in a day, but I feel like I could do that. Probably not today since it is Easter and I'm going over and seeing the family. And I have some last minute... Um, household things to take care of because I didn't do them yesterday and then I have to go back to work Monday so I kind of I say procrastinate I still got stuff done Saturday and also I think my my head was telling me I needed a mental break so I took it and I'm not upset by it yeah we're gonna go with that sounds better right Anyway, so that is my Camp Nano update. My cats are fighting. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Anyhow, so I'm going to dive into doing my planning for the week. Like I said, this is for social media. So if you've been around, you should, you've probably noticed that I'm big into planning. I make um, a yearly plan at the beginning of 2023. So that's like what I want to accomplish all year. And then every quarter I do plans for the quarter. And I have a couple videos. I'll link them for you. But it's of me making my quarter plans. And then for Q2 I did react to my Q1 goals to see if I met them. So like I said, I'll link both those videos for you so you can check them out. But then I also do a monthly plan. I, I do a lot of planning. Now the monthly plan is really just... Um, social media based so I plan all of my months 
content ideas. I don't actually sit down and write the post or take the pictures, but I plan the ideas for all month. Um, and how I do that is uh, Bethany Atazada, Bethany Atazada has a really good video on how to plan a month's worth of content in 60 minutes. So I will link her video down below because she goes through it really well. But basically you just um, pick a bunch of, I'm out of focus. You pick a bunch of pillars here of like stuff that you want to be recognized for. So for me, it's, you know, my published books, my work in progress, my writing process, my cats, um, props, which I have a ton of mugs and a ton of candles. So in a cute keyboard, have you seen this thing? I, I will show you in the next clip. Um, selfies, YouTube, lifestyle, because I do like to sprinkle in some lifestyle things into my vlogs, um, and planning, obviously. So, those are all things that I associate with myself, my writer self, and so I split them up over the course of the month, and I mean, there's, there's a little bit of rhyme and reason to this, like, um, Wednesdays I do try to talk about something that is YouTube related, but not necessarily just my YouTube post. Um, but that's also so I can get people to watch my newest YouTube vlog. It's just stuff like that. There's a little bit of rhyme and reason. Sometimes it's just random. So anyway, all the colored dots correspond to these. So now I've gotten all my month planned. Now I'm going to break it down by the week. And I'm going to plan this week's content. And I'm going to be a little more like nitty gritty about it. So I'm going to actually think about what I want to say in each of my posts. And sometimes I have to go on to other people's social medias and see what they're saying to see if that's what I want to say or if I can change it up to make it more me. Um, and this is for mainly for Instagram, Facebook, and then my stories. For my TikTok reels and shorts. Oh, speaking of shorts, I have something really cool to tell you in a minute. <laughs> for my short form content. I try to keep that more geared toward readers, so I try to, like, like when I'm posting on social media, I'm talking to everybody, so that's readers, writers, I'm telling you more about me, whereas on my short form content, I'm mainly targeting readers, and so therefore I'm more talking about my books and my stories, if that makes any sense. So anyway, the cool thing I gotta tell you, okay, so I did a short, and it popped off like I normally get because I, I just started doing shorts but I've been on TikTok for a couple years now I think um and on TikTok you know my views stay between two and four hundred sometimes one bumps up to a thousand views which is really cool but on YouTube shorts I posted a short and like it immediately started taking off like I had I think it finally tapered off at like 1.6 thousand views in like the first two hours. Like it was just like woof. Like the chart is like ridiculous looking. But then it just kind of died. I really thought, like naive me, but like I really thought it was gonna go viral. <laughs> but I Googled and apparently to go viral, you technically have to have five million views in the first week. I can't even fathom five million views, right? So anyway, I'll uh, I'll have that short for you at the end of this video. That'll be one of the little boxes you can click in case you want to check it out and see what the heck happened. I mean, I thought it was fun because it's it's an acting skit for Change of Breed. And I thought it, I, I just, I had fun. There's a lot of outtakes though. A lot of outtakes. Anyway, so I'm going to dive in and start planning my social media for the week.
Okay, so I got all of my planning done for the week. I don't know if, if I'm going to keep that part in the video, but there was a part... Where did it go? There was a part that I struggled a little bit because if you didn't notice... Let me get my calendar back out. Um... I assigned a color to each of my categories. Well, the... Was it this one? Okay, it's this one. So, Stormy and River is the purpley one, and YouTube is the bluish one. And, I I mean, on camera, I mean, yeah, you can tell a difference. But, like, ugh, on paper, I don't know. They look, they look super similar. <laughs> And so on my content calendar, I saw a blue star and I was just like, why am I posting about my cats on a Wednesday? Like, I feel like that's, I should not be posting about my cats. I should be posting about YouTube. And then I stared at it for a hot minute and I was like, that is YouTube. Yep. <laughs> I did not think this through. I should have gotten to more differently. I mean, I, but how many colors can there be though? To be different enough that you wouldn't run into that problem because these are all the colors that I'm using so for the most part they're different just that blue and that purple are just like we look the same uh, anyway but I got all of my week planning done kind of wrote out like what I was thinking about um, posting it's not like word for word but it's it gives me a good idea of where to start um, I think word for word by day, just because I can tailor it to what's going on that day if there's something else. So, um, the big one here is Wednesday. In case you missed my announcement that's literally all over the internet now. Um, I'm going live on Wednesday um, at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're going to announce the book cover, um, the blurb, the book trailer, the paperback pre-order goodies, the pre-orders will be live, the publishing date. I will announce everything. <laughs> and I am also going to be doing a giveaway for a signed paperback with all of the goodies. So make sure that you are subscribed down below so that you can get notified as soon as I go live so that you don't miss all of the excitement. I love it. I'm really nervous, so it's probably going to show as even more excitement. <laughs> I've never been live before, but I think it's going to go well. So anyway, with my planning, with my planning done, um, I'm pretty much wrapped up for the day. Like I said, I'm going over to my um, family today for some Easter shenanigans. So, I gotta go make some macaroni salad because that is what they've requested. But, I did want to give you a little life update. Um, I said that at the beginning of the video, right? Um, I said before in one of my videos that my fiancé and I are getting married this year. So, I just kind of wanted to share some of the um, updates that happened with that. So, last weekend? I think it was last weekend. Um, we went and picked out our wedding bands. So my wedding band goes with my engagement ring, so it kind of wraps around the diamond, which is super cute. And then he got a black wedding band, which is very him. <laughs> um, we also went and he got some boots because... I'll post some pictures. Boop, 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 boop. Um, this is the aesthetic that I'm going for for the wedding. Um, so cowboy boots. I, I believe it's called uh, cow, cowboy casual or something like that. That's what we're going for, so he's never owned a pair of boots in his life. So, it was really cool picking out some for him, and, you know, I'm not biased, but he looks good. <laughs> I've also started sending out Save the Dates. Um, I made them myself. I thought they turned out super cute, and I'm going to blur out any important details. But anywho, I just wanted to share where we are in that process. Um... We've pretty much booked all of the vendors that we need, other than desserts. I need to talk to the bakery in town. Um, we're going to do like a dessert bar, so I'm excited about that. Hmm. I, I think in my 2023 goals, I said that I wanted to plan a low-stress wedding. 
and then I also said it was an oxymoron. However, I think I'm still there. I have yet to get like super stressed out about it. Like planning the guest list was a little like meh, because like on one hand, like I don't want to hold back from inviting people because this is a one-time event and like I, I don't want to just like invite everybody and their mother, but I don't want to put like a like a limit. I, I don't know how to say what I want to say. I don't want to tell people no, I guess. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I am having a problem. Anyway. But also, on the other hand, I don't want to invite people that have had zero to very little hand in our relationship. So it's just been like that fine balance. So I think that's been the only like tedious thing. I wouldn't even say stressful because I'm still not stressed about it. But anyway, life update. That's all I have for the vlog this week. Or, I guess, today, because I'm posting twice a week. <clears throat> That's all I have for the vlog today. I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend week. How do you say it if you post bi-weekly? <laughs> I hope you guys have a great couple of days until I see you again. Um, I'm not going to have a vlog out on Wednesday, because that is the day I'm going live. Um, so there won't be a traditional vlog. Should be a vlog. The following Saturday maybe we'll see how it goes I might film it on Wednesday and then post it on Saturday and then probably on, that's when I'll tell you how the live went I don't know something like that so anyway I will see you guys at the live in just a couple days bye <laughs>